All right, on air conditioning this morning, I am going to take you, I think, through a step-by-step -step multi video process of me performing a recovery because I got a little time this morning. But since I'm holding the camera in one hand, that only leaves me for one hand to pull up. So grabbing my gauges right now and the one main thing is that box right there refrigerant identifier before you ever pull the refrigerant out and mix it with the rest of your stuff uh, your refrigerant or your refrigerant identifier is always the very first thing you do and looking around this lot let's see yeah I'll be doing a recovery on that one and there's a couple more recoveries over there but right now they have to authorize those ones for my recoveries recovery recovery and uh, I'm going over to the one that's authorized right now so the one of the biggest problems we have in this industry has been coming up and especially as we're adding another refrigerant is contamination as you've seen some of my few released videos so here's the one that I'm doing right now it's a Toyota Corolla so you break out. Now remember, right now, book time through uh, like CCC, ADP, Mitchell, all your estimating programs and books and stuff like that for refrigerant recovery procedures as of right now, because here in California, the Bureau of Automotive Repair, it's now mandated as of 2018, you must own and test and uh, document your refrigerants that you pull out of a vehicle. So this is the procedures I'm going through right now. And that time to do that is not allotted in yet for your time to actually perform a recovery. So that's extra time and time is money and you need to get paid for that. So that's something that has to be, uh, there's always a delay in the industry between new procedures and what gets put down in book time. So it's coming, but somehow, especially if you're a body shop and you're doing this, you gotta get paid for your tool. You gotta return your return on investment in a tool. So here's three grand right here. And then every time your technician gets a car, he has to hook this up, perform this procedure. You get a little readout and it is to go with the uh, invoice number that this procedure has been done. So we're, this one's R134, it's connected. It's not screwed down yet. I still don't have a refrigerant flow inside there. And now this has to calibrate, go through its warm up, and I'll get everything else ready. So this is not included in the book time yet for performing your recovery. We haven't even got to the recovery part yet. We're just analyzing the refrigerant. This one here. So I'll break this off once I start to analyzing refrigerant. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll let this video go so you can see how long this takes. Okay, so now it's ready to test. So now you screw it into the refrigerant circuit. Now there's a refrigerant flow going through the machine, and now it'll take a test. So now I'll go through the testing procedure, and I'll get ready here. Now I gotta go get my uh, container, my recovery unit. And you can see, I actually, I don't have uh, nitrogen in the system. I pulled a vacuum on this yesterday and it's still holding 862 microns from my last job from yesterday. Because this is the next morning. I'm at my first recovery job in the morning the next day. So my gauges were able to hold this. So we're still testing. Now you see this takes time. It's not nothing instant. So you as the shop are to get paid for this procedure. So either one, you gotta add the time on your invoicing or two, you have to raise your labor rate for your air conditioning services to compensate for the extra $3,000 for this and the time for your technician labor hours every time he has to perform this procedure on every car. Let's look at the results. And we have 
have 100% refrigerants, but we also have 3% air mixed into the system, but we have 100% refrigerant. So this is now good to go for recovery into your recycling container. So I'll go get the recycling machine, the recycling container. I take a snapshot of this and it goes into invoice to go with every vehicle I do, gets a snapshot of the refrigerant uh, quality that I have tested. All right, catch you on the next video in this series on recovery.